Hello, short update here, well, a quick update. As you can see, it's got a display on it, and the display is actually showing a count of something. I've got the, as you can see, I've got pretty much the time account of switching matrix wired up and stuff. Only things I've left yet to go is the uh, PLL phase lock loop section and the input and prescaler section. Well, everything else is pretty much wired up and display is on it. Right now, I've just finished making sure everything is functional in what I got, as you can see here. I've got three counts going on on the display. And those are the raw counts out of the 802, uh, 53, which first count is counter 1, well I should say counter 0. It's pull, uh, set to be pulling off the 32 kilohertz crystal oscillator. Counter 2, uh, counter 1 and counter 2 are pulling off of the second crystal socket, but I've got an external frequency source hooked to it right now. This is uh, counter one is the first one in the chain, and then I have counter two, daisy chained off of counter one, set via the switching matrix. And as you can see, when that counts down to zero, then that one there will decrement. Yep, there it goes. And, as I said, this is the raw count, because the 802.53 is, and the 802.54 are native down count chips, which, that's when you convert them over to a standard up count display, you've got to do the mathematics in the microcontroller to change it from the down count to an up count and in this design is going to be a little bit more interesting because remember I said I'm going to be daisy chaining the 16 bit counter stages in the 802.53 or 82.54 with the 16 bit counter stages of the 8051 or 8052 and the reason that is a little more interesting is the 802.53-54 is a native down count chip hexadecimal or binary code decimal while the 8051 is a native up count chip the counters in it are natively up count. So to make them appear as a coherent 32-bit counter, you've got to take the value from the 16-bit value from the 802.53, do the mathematics to change it over to an up count profile, then tag it on to the data 16 bits from the uh, Prerequisite 16 bit counter in the 802.51, and then uh, of course it's going to be hexadecimal all the way because the ones in the 802.51 are hexadecimal only counters, so yeah, it will get you a 32 bit hexadecimal number. Then you can do your hexadecimal to binary coded decimal conversion and then push that value to the display so that is going to make a little bit more work in software to make them appear as coherent counter state 32-bit counter stages and the other thing I'm going to be throwing into it to make it just a little more interesting I'm not really wanting to have to 
reinitialize the counter stages between each count after the gate finishes and you take the count reading. I don't really want to have to take and re-zero all the counter stages and everything and make sure everything is lined out between count gates. So I'm planning on utilizing a flying count or a delta count to take and produce frequency counter or up counter functions. Basically what I'm going to do is when the gate shuts off then the microcontroller is going to take a reading of all the counters in their current static state and then can just turn right around and reinitialize the gate uh, timer and start the next count and it will uh, synthesize or create a count from zero by taking the previous counter values and subtracting them from the current count values and then display that number and then store those current count values back for when the next gate comes to completion and then you can take the current values and subtract the previous values from to get the next up count value that way you can minimize recycle time and minimize problems with reinitializing the counting strings each time the count comes to an end. So that's one of the things I thought I'd try to spice up the situation a little bit with. So making two independent 16-bit counters appear as one and using them to do a flying count. So that's current state of my plans and the current state of the project here. So as you can see, it's now got active feedback. So take care, take it easy.